Hi, good morning, and welcome to today's products in focus. So it looks like a, gr a Greek deal is not going to be as forthcoming as possible, um, with most global markets actually just uh, ever slightly down this morning with the uh, kind of graveyard doji formation uh, form now on the US 30. Um, as the, the kind of uh, a, a lot of the European leaders now are taking a tougher stance on um, on Greece, uh, and it looks like a debt deal is getting further away. So you've seen the euro come off. You've seen a lot. Of, um, a lot of the European Borises come off slightly there as well, uh, and we've actually seen a massive sell-off in crude oil. So we'll come back to that one in a second. But it does. Look, as a matter of fact, I'm going to draw this level on here because we have talked about uh, the, the the potential for a descending triangle formation, and I think it, it is slowly coming into view right there. Um, and we are looking now at 17,546 as the next potential support level. And this red line here has been the next potential downtrend, uh, which could be a cap on further games on the US 30, especially as um, there seems to be a lot of negative macro data coming out. We're obviously not that far away from non farm payrolls now, uh, which could be quite an interesting move uh, for the US market. So we'll have to wait and see. How that uh, progresses. So, looking at the UK 100, you can see we've almost got a bearish engulfing pattern, a failure to break through to uh, all first time highs, 6906. Uh, next potential support, 6771. Um, very similar picture, almost got a crossover on the MACD. The other technicals are relatively neutral, albeit they did have a signal to sell uh, a couple of sessions ago on the RSI and the slow stochastic is just about to cross over that 80% level as well. Um, we've tried to have a little rally this morning, it's failed to do so. I think 6906.8 is going to be hard to, uh, hard to break in this market just now, but we're only a couple of macro data releases away from, uh, positive macro data releases away from that actually uh, bursting through but we need to get the data coming through. Now today we've got um, unemployment claims in the US, obviously this interest rate decision is not going to have any impact um, because it's going to come out as, as expected and you've got the US trade balance. So if these continue to follow the trend of, uh, of negative macro data for the US then the US therapy looks uh, vulnerable as does cable and euro dollar for more dollar weakness uh, and uh, Warren Buffett's come out with a new statement today he doesn't think the US should raise rates at all for 2015 uh, and there's obviously gro growing uh, concern that uh, doing a rate hike too early would uh, peter out any uh, future growth that we're going to see in, in the US because it has been outstripping most other global economies and they want to keep that um, keep that strength going. So looking at Japan 225, uh, 17,496 is a potential support level. That's obviously been in play for a, num for a number of sessions. Two negative candles to be seen right here. The formations are not that positive. Um, people have been buying up the yen this morning to uh, defend against that, um, that potential longer term pain uh, from uh, Greece playing hardball themselves. Uh, so it has been a little bit of a shock this morning. Uh, well, first of all, it was a bit of a shock that things were seemingly going so well since the, the new Syriza government was so anti um, um, bailout, anti uh, loan, but uh, it's not maybe that surprising now looking back on it that that, that has fallen apart ever so slightly. So, dollar yen breaking through potential support at 117 spot 36, iron up 114 spot 74. Uh, if things do get a little bit shaky, people will be buying the yen, um, especially at the expense of the US dollar. So, dollar yen could be quite interesting. Um, crude oil West Texas has been so incredibly volatile. This is a 19% increase over three days, only then to collapse last night. That was a 9% drop, and we're still dropping again just now at $48. Uh, and we've got to be looking at a, a retracement back now to uh, 43 spot 26 um, as crude oil inventories. This comes out a week, every week on a Wednesday at 3.30 UK time and uh, the figures are coming in very high each month. So each time we talk about it, it does seem to have a negative impact. So do keep an eye on those uh, crude oil inventory figures, they're very important if you're trading West Texas. Um, not really much to talk about gold, trading between two ranges, 12.54 and 12.73. Um, not much catalyst in the market right now. Obviously, safe haven status could be interesting. Um, dollar weakness could, could aid it, but it's not had the type of excitement levels that we saw when we had this this uptrend right here on gold. Um, so it seems to be hugging that 21 period SMA quite strongly as well. You got a crossover on the MACD. The other technical indicators are relatively neutral, so I wouldn't be that surprised if gold moves and the sideways uh, moving. Um, 
formation for the next couple of sessions. So finishing up with Euro dollar and GBP USD, uh, Euro dollar reverse course yesterday uh, as that Greek deal looked further away. But then the dollar is not really rampant at the moment either. Um, so I don't expect a huge no, amount to happen with your dollar unless one of two things. One, great deal comes back on the table. Either a great deal comes back on the table or it completely gets blown apart. In which case you see the euro to um, slightly, uh, well, obviously move in the back of that, that, that news. Another aspect would be if the US suddenly start coming out with some more positive macro data to gain some upwards momentum. Because they have been doing so well, but recently that uh, the, the the data coming out of America has just been getting weaker and weaker, uh, and it had such a great run. So I think that's, uh, that's where we'll see things go. So GBP USD seems to be the biggest net beneficiary of the uh, of the recent dollar weakness, uh, breaking above one spot 51.85. We now got to be looking at one spot 54.24 should the US continue to disappoint. So I'm not really that interested in your know, dollar versus cable, and cable's got more potential upside um, because sterling is a little bit more sure about itself than the euro. There's just too much uncertainty uh, with the euro. So if US disappoints again, then I think cable's got the opportunity to, to move higher. Um, but do do keep an eye on that. Like, this is a good springboard. We're just on the right side of it right now. So it's not like we're getting a whole bunch of momentum, but if we, the longer we keep above 150, 5185, the better for everyone. So we've already talked about the economic data today. Let's fast forward on to tomorrow. You've got German industrial production and uh, non-farm payrolls. Make sure you've got all your lights set for that. We've got a live webinar that you can sign up to if you go to support and then go to live trader events. That's with uh, Michael Hewson, our chief uh, market analyst in the UK. He's also an FX expert. And as ever, keep your eye on the chart forum, make insights part of your layout going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.